am into this. Hey, hey, I'm so proud of myself. All right. Hi, beautiful people. I did this. I did all of this. Okay. I'm so proud of myself. Let's just let's just put it out there. I'm proud of myself. I'm very, very proud of myself. Like I'm proud of myself. Just so you know, I spent a good I think I'm mentioning it. I think I mentioned that already. But just in case I decide to use this footage because my face is beat. <laughs> just in case I decide to use this footage. Um, I woke up this morning for some reason at six o'clock in the morning. It's on a Saturday. I don't normally wake up that early on a Saturday, but I did. And what do I decide to do? Watch YouTube videos. And for two hours, I've been looking for this, you know, routine for my foundation. And um, yeah, I, I, I just went on this journey this morning watching makeup videos and a lot of them recommended some products that i went out to get so if you want to see how i achieved this look keep on watching disclaimer um this video might be very long and that's okay let's get into it ready to start so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the primer if there's no applicator with the product i will put them with my fingers i still can't believe that some people went home and never washed their hands once they got home like that was common practice at home like my mom would not let you go anywhere if you don't wash your hands so to me it was like common practice, but apparently not. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I don't think it blurs. I don't know, did I, do you notice that I blurred out a bit? One thing that I did learn from Jackie Ina that I actually like because of the oily parts of my face is to put setting powder. So I'm gonna put the loose finishing powder in the color dark, which is the color of my skin, I believe. I'm gonna put it in with my damp sponge. One other tip is everything you're applying should be pressed in. Oh, this is, I'm getting a red undertone, is it? Is it just me? Oh my God, this does look red. <gasps> it doesn't look red like outside of the camera. I got the Pro Concealer, the red one. It is, no, orange. It is the orange corrector and it neutralizes dark tones. And a little bit under the eyes, just a little bit. I have a little mustache, so that's dark, right? I think that's good. So I'm going to apply my foundation. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. It does look very sheer, and it does say that it's sheer, I think. It is a natural finish. Wears up to 24 hours. I don't know why someone would wanna wear makeup for 24 hours. Doesn't make sense, but anyway, I digress. Another tip that I learned is when you apply stick foundations, I don't remember who said that, but when you apply stick foundations, you should have it with a liquid. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild 3-in-1 primer. Gotta shake it. This one smells good, by the way. It smells really good. Just so that it, uh, just so that the foundation applies more flawlessly. Press the foundation in. <laughs> Four hours. All right, so I applied the foundation. I hope it looks blended. Did you know that there are some cameras that make your face look flawless? So don't try to apply your makeup thinking it's gonna look swing, super flawless because some beauty bloggers are fooling you. Just so you know. 
but I did watch a video at some point that basically said this is the real me, no filter in my camera, and I thought that was very honest and you know make people think that hey, everybody has texture on their skin. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna try to contour. I'm only doing like little dots. Anyways, this is one of my favorite ones actually. The, again, L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the color Honey as my highlighting concealer. I love this concealer, I really do. I'm not gonna put too much. If you see like what's in front of me, everything is placed in a particular order just so that I don't forget things. I'm going to blend the contour shade and blend it up. It's always when you want to film that little pimple just wants to be like, hi. I'm letting the highlighting concealer dry a bit. So apparently with the under eye concealer, you also want to bring it up to your eye. So now we're going to bake. I'm going to go with the loose finishing powder in medium deep. It's actually brighter. <sighs> I've never done this, like, so accentuated. Now, gonna go to the brows. One thing that I would really love is for the beauty gurus to actually do their eyebrows during their tutorial. Like, I, I would really appreciate that. I'm one of those beginners that loves to see that because I have, I, I struggle with my eyebrows. I do. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal, the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I actually like it. They also have the pomade. I, I switched to this one, but they're both awesome. I'm going to use it in the color Dark Brunette. Light strokes. My face looks like I've done this like so many times. And in my head, I'm like, watch me mess this up. Other tip, you should have your eyebrows end like about there. So I extend mine, I elongate mine. So I'm gonna use the Pro Concealer in the color Fawn to define my brows. I don't know if I'm weird from doing that, but I know this comes with an applicator, but when it comes to my brows, I know that I'm very um, picky. So I do take a concealer brush. Oh, that looks very bright. Um, abort, abort. Just because I think this concealer is a bit bright, I am gonna go with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze for the top of my brows, just so that they don't look like huh. One of the reasons why I do YouTube is because there are a lot of looks that I wish I could have recreated and I never filmed them. So that's kind of like my catalog to go back to and say, yes, this is how I did that look. Um, let me stop talking because this thing is gonna dry and I won't be able to blend. I definitely want to do more makeup videos. So I'm taking a blending brush to blend the concealer out. Oh, one thing I forgot to do was the bridge on my nose. Why didn't you guys tell me? All right, I won't hold it against y'all. Now for my eyes. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. So first, I'm going to put on the transition color that I've decided to take from the Through My Eyes eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use the eyeshadows Davina and Misbehave together. Tapping. Hmm, I thought it would be a brighter pink. I'm gonna stick to misbehave. And just really put it right all over my crease area. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I know, that was random. I'm gonna take also a little bit of Lomo just to blend it. Now I'm gonna use the NYX palette. I do want to go in the corner of my eye with that purple right here because I think it looks cute. Darker shades is meant to put another tip. It's meant to put a bit more depth to your eye. These are teachable moments, people. Purples are nice. Like, ooh. 
I'm really patting in the colors. All right, now for the big shebang, where is it? For the Miracle Worker, I really hope it works. Use this for the eyeshadow to pop. <gasps> I should not have blinked. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Another tip, I think a lot of people know about this one, but it's to wet your brush. I wet it with spray, just so that the pigments are even brighter on your eye. <gasps> yes! <laughs> I'm excited. Do you see how it just goes boom? That's what I wanted. <gasps> I love it. So I'm gonna bring this in so that it blends. Another tip, if you are filming videos and you're not using your phone, you're actually using a camera, get yourself spare batteries. That's all I gotta say. All I gotta say. And I'm going back in my Through My Eyes shadow palette just so that I could bring in my transition colors. I wanna put this green just so that it pops a little bit more. Oh, it does make a difference. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's just blend a little bit. I'm going to use this uh, contour palette that I got at the beauty supply store. Pat, pat, pat. Eyeshadow for blush, just a little bit. I'm gonna mix Misbehave and Euphoric. Um, oh, I didn't do the inner corner eye. Um, what you call it? So I'm going to use Muse. I forgot to do something very, very crucial. And it's to apply the shadow under the eye a little bit. The purple, and I'm going in with that little peach. Just to complete the eye look. I'm gonna use the translucent medium deep L'Oreal Infallible Loose Setting Powder. And now I'm going to use the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray, and it's in the matte finish. And now we could do eyeliner. This is the um, Epic Ink Liner by NYX. I noticed that I wasn't even recording, but when you're putting your mascara, always tilt your head back so that you don't have... I, would, I didn't tilt my head back when I was doing that one. Memory card is about to be full. No, first highlighter. I'm using the ColourPop highlighter in the color drop of a hat. I'm gonna use the eyeliner by, by, by Rimmel, scandalized, but it's gonna be a lip liner. Other tip, apparently to make your lips fuller, you draw a line right here, and here, and here. Then I'm going to use the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. The Lancome Gloss is called Miracle. I use uh, magnetic lashes, so I just put the magnetic eyeliner right on top of my regular eyeliner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have tips for me on how to improve my makeup skills, I want to know. Oh, because I'm really into this. I might be making a bit more makeup videos, but I definitely am not stopping the hair videos because like I said, they are a bit of my catalog to recreate some looks, so I can't stop staring at myself like. But yeah, that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye.